Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk with you about uh, nitrogen. Um, <clears throat> this is a typical bottle you would keep on your uh, service van and <clears throat> use it when you are pressure checking a system, uh, either trying to find an existing leak or once you've done repairs on a system, uh, you can put nitrogen into it and use it as a pressure uh, gas to uh, verify you don't have any leaks and that you're ready to uh, evacuate and charge the system. Nitrogen is fairly uh, inexpensive. It is a very dry uh, inert gas, so it's perfect for uh, our systems to put it in and be able to take it back out and not do any, any harm into the systems when we're uh, using it. Uh, now to access the nitrogen, we use a pressure regulator. Uh, this is a probably a couple hundred dollar device that goes with the nitrogen tank. I've always tried to teach technicians to keep them separate. Some guys will install the nitrogen gauges and leave them connected all on their truck. And eventually what happens is the regulator uh, goes bad as soon as the bottle falls over and uh, bangs around in a service truck for a couple years. So I typically ask guys to uh, take the nitrogen regulators off, put it in a box, put it on their shelf, uh, securely uh, store the nitrogen bottle in their truck. Um, lots of good things about nitrogen. There is one bad thing, and that is the high pressure that's in this tank. Uh, to be able to pressurize a complete air conditioning system, it takes a lot of uh, cubic feet of uh, whatever gas you're putting in it, in this case, nitrogen. So in order to have a lot of capacity, there's got to be a lot of pressure. So uh, let's put this regulator on here and I'll show you the pressure that we're dealing with and why you need to be so careful with this. So the nitrogen regulator just threads on there. You want to get it hand tight and then you want to get a crescent wrench there's another issue I have with service technicians that go and get a pair of channel lock pliers and try to tighten this down with a pair of channel locks. Always, always have to use a okay, so crescent once wrench. Once it's hand tight, it's a matter of just nice and snug and we're ready to go. First gauge is going to tell me pressure in my tank. So as soon as I open up this knob, it's going to tell me what the pressure is in my tank. The second gauge is going to tell me how much pressure is going to come out of my outlet once I turn in my regulator. The more I turn this regulator in, the higher the pressure will go. Super important, when you initially set your uh, nitrogen gauges up on your tank, you need to make sure the nitrogen the regulator handle is backed all the way out. This is all the way in. It feels tight and it gets harder and harder to turn it in. That's turning it in. That's allowing pressure to come out. Before you open up the main valve on this, you need to make sure that it's open and free so that we don't have any um, spring tension on the regulator and so that when 2,000 pounds of pressure hits our regulator, it doesn't go through and allow it to come out um, until we're ready for it, until we're, we're under, have it under control. So, regulator's backed out. I'm gonna open my valve. This particular nitrogen tank has a little leak in it. I'm not sure why. This is one I would automatically just take right back to Johnstone and say, hey, I need it swapped out. It's, uh, it's leaking, so. Let's show you that a little bit closer. So now I'm going to hook my gauges up to, or I would hook, typically I'm going to hook this up to my gauges and my gauges are going to be hooked up to my unit and then I'm able to put pressure into my unit. So if you watch my pressure on my uh, bottle is about 2,000 pounds of pressure. Uh, red is going to be um, PSI. And then as I turn in my regulator, you'll be able to see my pressure increase. And then I can dial it in to anything I want. So if I want 100 pounds of pressure, I can dial that in and get it right at, set it right at 100. And then as soon as I open up my gauges, I'm able to get 100 pounds of pressure. 
going into my unit. Okay, so now I'm able to pressure check. As soon as I'm done pressure checking, shut my valves off, search for my leaks, or verify I have no leaks, and then I can just drain out the nitrogen. No problems with the EPA regarding um, purging nitrogen. Not a problem at all with that. Close my valve. Typically, I'm going to keep it 2,000 pounds until I figure out what this leak is. Uh, I then want to purge out the nitrogen out of my hose, back out my regulator again, take my crescent wrench, loosen up my fitting, take my regulator completely off, put the regulator back in a box, put it back on the shelf in my truck, and secure the bottle in my truck also, okay? So that's regulator operation for a nitrogen bottle.